Howdy y'all, welcome back to Zeman Outdoors. This is a little different video. It's not a typical hunting video or really anything to do with hunting, but I think some people out there would find this helpful because I have these Insteon smart switches um, in my kitchen, my living room, and a couple other areas. And Insteon went belly up, so they no longer work. So if I say, Alexa, kitchen on. So as you can, so as you can see, it's not working. I mean, the functionality of the switch still works, but it's not working with Alexa, which I really want to do. So I am going to be installing the Amazon Basics switch. This is actually a three-way switch, and what's kind of cool about this is with Insteon, I had to have a smart switch on each side with. The Amazon Basics, you only need one smart switch, but you need to make sure the other is a three-way switch. So I'm going to replace both these switches, one with the three-way switch and one with the three-way smart switch. I'm pretty sure there is a certain spot you have to put this. I think it's on the load side. As I get into it, I'll read through it and let y'all know. But this smart switch was only $18 compared to these Enseons, which are about $40 or $50. So... If this works well, I'm gonna replace a bunch more in my house and start using them. With all this being said, I am going to go ahead and start unscrewing the plate here, get the old switch out, and put in the new switches. As far as tools, you're probably gonna need a Phillips and flathead screwdriver. And then it's always good to have some sort of voltage tester because I will shut the power off when I start actually diving in there and moving wires around but I just wanted to show you all with the light on and I need to be able to see which side has the power and which side is the load as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and start pulling this plate off. I have another plate over there as well and I'll show you all this video. So I'm gonna bring you a little bit closer here. So this old switch, again, it's kind of tough because it is a smart switch, so it's not the same as what you probably have. But when the power is on, your traveler wire in a three-way is going to be hot. And then that's your power. And when you shut it off, you can see your traveler, not hot, but your power is still hot there. So I think this is actually going to be my power side, whereas the other side is actually going to be the load side. So I'm going to read through the Amazon instructions and see where I need to put the smart switch. I believe the smart switch goes on the load side. I will double check. So again, this is the Amazon Basics three-way switch. Let me go ahead and open it up. Comes with, you know, some wire nuts there. Your switch itself. Some screws for the switch and a couple booklets, and then it actually does come with a plate, which I won't be using here. And then it has some labels. So let's uh, take a quick look and see uh, how they show to wire it up. All right, so they show you the wiring guide of one smart switch and one normal switch. And it has your smart switch. You tie it to the traveler wire. And then it looks like you need to put your smart switch on the load side. So I believe that's going to be my other outlet that I haven't, or my other switch that I haven't taken off yet. All right, so I've got my three-way, normal three-way switch here. I have the uh, red traveler wire and the white neutral. And then you put the black hot on the black screw and then you ground it. So this is just a pretty basic setup for a three-way switch. I'm gonna now go install the smart switch. Come over to this other switch here, this outlet, sorry, switch. So this is my smart switch here on the right. And I'm gonna take this plate off as well. All right, so I still haven't taken off the smart switch. I do have the power off. 
but I'm going to go ahead and unhook it. So I know here, however I had to wire these Insteons, that they wired the Traveler into the load. So I have my Traveler, which is the red, the black, which is the load. It looks like my white goes in with a crap ton of whites in there. And then my power comes here. So you need to make sure you keep your power and your loads uh, separate there. there. So now you take your new smart switch. And you've got quite a few wires here. We'll say these instructions are kind of crap. There's no color code to anything. Okay, so it, it does actually say what they are here. So you've got ground, your green is ground, white is neutral, brown is traveler, black is line, red is load. So I know my red is the traveler, so I'm going to go ahead and hook that guy up. And you're going to want to pull on them to make sure they're in there nicely. Um, yeah, sorry. Red is load. Wrong one. So my red is not the traveler on here. The red's actually going to go to your black here that you know is your load wire. So I am going to get that one hooked up. And then your brown wire is your traveler. So that's this guy here. I am going to use a small one on him too. I can tell you what, it's going to be a pain getting this back in the box. All right, so that's good. Um, so line is your black, which is your power. So I'm going to wire that guy up with the power here. And then your white is your neutrals. So I've got this big pile of neutrals here. This is going to be a, kind of a pain. But you'll want to get a big wire nut for that one. And you want to make sure these all stay in there, so that's going to be the tough part. I'm going to take off a couple more of these switches just so that I can a little bit more room in here. Alright, so I got that hooked up. Now you want to make sure you hook up your ground as well. So when you have this many wires, you're going to have to be careful when you're putting them back in, because you will, uh, if you don't get them in, in here tight, you'll lose a couple wires. Let's push some of these back. All right, I'm gonna go turn this on, the outlet back on, and make sure it works before I get it all put in there. All right, make sure all these other ones work still. So it looks like that does work. Let me make sure this other side still works. So over here on this normal three-way switch, you actually don't wire up the neutral, you just cap it. Um, if you wire the neutral, you'll do what I did, and you'll basically wire your neutral into a hot circuit and trip your breaker. So just cap your neutral up. And you should be good. I'm going to try this again. So that works on this side. We'll go hit the smart switch over here. So we are good to go. I'm going to go, I'm going to finish putting the plates on and everything, and then I will show you all setting it up with Alexa. So to get this set up on Alexa, you're going to want to open up your Alexa app and 
at the bottom right side of the screen. You're gonna, let's see, hit more, add device, and let's see, switch, Amazon Basics, single pole, pole or three way, this one is not a dimmer. Like that man, next, okay. So then you're gonna just scan that barcode that's on your switch, click done, and it should be good to go. So let's see. So you come up to switches. This first switch here is the new one. We're gonna edit, I'm gonna call it kitchen. Go back, and now I can shut the switch on and off with this. And I can say, Alexa, kitchen off. Kitchen doesn't support that. Um, Alexa, kitchen switch off. So I'll have to adjust it so I can just say kitchen, but it, you can see it works. Alexa, kitchen switch on. So as you can see, it is now set up with Alexa. I'm still learning about your switch. Is it connected to a light? Yes. Thanks. You can now use your switch like the rest of your lights. Well, I hope you all enjoyed this video. I'm gonna get this plate put back on. I'm gonna test out a few more features and see what other kind of cool features it may have. If I find anything cool, I'll add it at the end of the video. But as you can see, it works. It replaced my Insteon switches that no longer work. So if you need to replace old smart switches that aren't working or you just want a smart switch in general, this is a relatively inexpensive option. I'm gonna test out the dimmer switch if this one works well. I've got my living room, it was on a dimmer switch and that doesn't work either. So I'm gonna test the Amazon Basics dimmer three-way switch as well. And I may do a video on that if, it, uh, if this video does well and y'all enjoyed it. But otherwise, I hope y'all enjoyed it and I will see y'all next week.